Hello and welcome to our Archicad video series. Um, right now we're just going to introduce you to the program. Um, which, what you're seeing on the screen right now is a floor plan in Archicad 17. It's It's got most of the stuff we need in it. It's missing a few things, but we're just in the process. So let's introduce you to what we've got going on here. If you follow my cursor around, um, we have our drawing area in the middle. Now, our elevations are pre-done for us. As long as we don't erase our camera locations, we're okay with that. We just draw and we can move them around. Our toolbars are constructed as follows. Across the top is our pull-down windows and our standard toolbar. This toolbar right here, I'll just pull it off for a second so you can see what it is. This toolbar here is our operations toolbar. It changes depending on which um, oh, there it is, which command we're in or which tool we're using. Now, if, if you'll pay attention, I'll click on my wall tool right here and notice how it changes. I'll click on my door tool, it changes again. I'll click on my window tool, it changes again. So depending on what tool we have up or what operation we're doing, it will change. Now our design window and our document window and our additional window, they call it more, has all of our tools for drawing built into them. You just have to decide which one you need and fly them out. So typically we start with our design window and it has our walls, doors, windows, columns, beams, platforms or slabs, um, stairways, roofs, shells, etc. Okay? Most everything shows up as either a wall if it's a vertical plane surface or a slab if it's a horizontal plane surface. Um, roofs are anything inclined pretty much. A shell is like you know a bent uh, awning covering etc. Um, curtains, we'll deal with those later. Um, the morph tool, um, we don't use that much in beginning but we'll show you that later on and the objects tool and the zone tool become quite handy. The objects where we find most of our objects which are not just symbols but they are actually three-dimensional smart objects that have properties assigned to them. Um, same with our zone tool. It will actually go in and it will understand heated area, uh, non-heated area. We can assign those kinds of properties to it as we draw it out. Okay. Um, Archicad is a true BIM software. That's a building information management system software. So it's not just meant for designing. It's meant for managing the building afterwards. Um, so as we're looking at it, we'll look at we'll look at some of those things. Now let's go down to our document tool. Our document tool is what we use to make our actual documentation of this project. That's where we find our dimensions or our level dimensions. The text tools, the leaders, the fills. Uh, just general lines, drawing tools, section and elevation tools, interior elevations, etc. Um, worksheets are created in here as well as details. And in the more, that's where we find things like lamps uh, for when we want to create a rendering and assign lights and things to this. Uh, camera location, so we want to make a walkthrough, we can do that as well. Now with all that said, that's just the left hand side of our screen. Let's go over to our right. This is our navigator bar. Now, navigates first up to our project map. Our project map is a tree orientation that allows us to see different layers. Okay, In this case, we're on the first floor. If I go to my basement, I'll, do, I'll pull up my basement layer. If I go to my second floor layer, I'll pull up my second floor layer. I can have as many of these as I desire. Um, right now, I just have the ones here. These are under my stories. Uh, I've got a sectioning tools. If I want to go to that, I just click on it and there's my section um, that we've created and another section below that our elevation tools are there and they're labeled by direction you can change that if you need to but we're not going to worry about it right now worksheets are there uh, 3d documents generic perspectives our schedules are here so i'm going to stop this our schedules are here as well as we d create elements so let's say i want my door schedule well there's my door schedule as i start to fill it in there's my window schedule um, object inventory and that can get quite lengthy at times in fact you're going to see yeah, mine's kind of sizable uh, for a simple residence. Component tools, it breaks out all my components that are in my house, brick face, etc, etc, etc. How much insulation I need by volume, etc. Okay, so as I'm working my way through this, it is keeping a running track. It's, it, like I said, it's a smart interactive software. So I'm going to go back to my first floor right here and see, and see what we're working with. Okay, Additional tools we use over here, this is our view map. Um, I don't use it very often, we'll show you that later on, and this is our layout book. Now the layout book is what we actually use to create our documents for printing. Um, let's go to our cover sheet. Like Here's our cover sheet, it has a rendering on it. Now the rendering is not automatic, but it is something we can pull in easy enough. Here's our uh, drawing index sheets, and it has them automatically numbered, and as I create one over here in my um, layout book, actually in my navigator project tree, 
and then I create a sheet for it in my layout book, it automatically updates it and adds it in here. I just have to make sure I put it in the right section over here. Like if I'm drawing an elevation, I probably don't want to put it in sections. So when I go in to create one, I have to make sure I create it under the correct section in the new layout. Okay. So as we're walking our way through that, it's very simple to do and it's very handy. Now one thing that we always fight with with the beginners is this. Our information, our title block right here, is controlled through our project info sheet. Now, do I get to the project info as I go to our layout book or our map and right here at the top of the tree you'll see our project name. Well once I go down there I pull up project info and I fill in all of this information right here. All of it goes in. Yeah, I've got my school phone numbers and stuff in here just because this is an example. I can type in the air, gross area and gross perimeter. I can get that from my zoning tool later and add, add in it back in. But as I fill these in, it fills in all the information I need here. In this case, a client name, um, our client right here, we call it student example, but this client right here, we're just going to call it you know, student example. Client company is Canyon View High School. And when I OK that, it plugs all that information in my title block automatically. I can't edit it right here. Now I can later on go into my masters and edit it, but we try to avoid that because we don't want to mess up any of the interactive blocks. But that's our inter overview of this. Um, really simple to use. We're going to give you some time to wander around through it, play in it a little bit. I suggest when you start, you open up your, because it'll default to your project map, and it'll default to your first floor, just try to draw some walls, grab some tools, start drawing, see if you can figure out how to make the lengths work. Um, you'll see on our second video, we'll show you how to do walls, and in our third video, it'll be doors and windows on some of those walls. So, thank you for your time. See ya.